Hey, 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 what's going on? It's Alicia with Fitful Circle and man, it's been a while. And I was uploading like stuff I was doing, but life gets crazy, things happen. Um, I will tell you if you, I don't know if you're following along or have 42, actually I'm 43 now. I just had a birthday last Sunday. So I'm 43 years old, had five babies in seven years, 10 years of physical inactivity around the time of having uh, babies, you know, here and there I'd try to pick it up, but it was very short lived. Tons of processed junky foods, and it started to pay a toll on my life. And um, I started back with health and nutrition after, well, it was a little before my, it was like with my last two kids, um, my last two babies that I had, I, um, we had one, my second son was born with a genetic defect, passed away at a year and three and a half months. That has been, it would be, it will be 13 years coming up, his heavenly birthday. Um, long, crazy road, but it kind of was like a wake up call, like a, um, you really like question life and what it's all about when you have such pain like that of losing a child. I mean, it's something I don't ever wish on anyone. Um, and I've had friends that have maybe lost a parent early on or a sibling or a close, close friend. You know that pain, you know it just makes you question every single thing. And that's what it did for me. And it broke us down for the longest time. And then we kind of started to pick up the pieces and I'm so glad like I am in a totally different spot completely changed like inside and out. Um, I started with more the mental, spiritual, emotional transformation before I brought the physical in and realizing that, hey, my body, like my son was not given, he was born broken and I was given this body and I was trashing it out um, with alcohol, party girl, like in high school and college. And even after that, some um, dabbled in drugs for a little bit, premarital sex, like all kind, like, you know, I just beating it with garbage and just, it was starting to pay a toll on my life. And I just, it was a wake up call. So I started um, to supplement first and realized that, you know what? Supplements are good. I totally believe in them, but you cannot out supplement your diet and so then I started making changes it took me years of researching because this has been a while there's way more information out there now than there was when I started like nine nine ten years ago wow it's been that long because um, my my uh, second to youngest is 10 almost 11 and it was before I had started with the supplements before I had him when I got before I got pregnant with him actually so anyway it's been a long, hard road, and I, um, I'm an online health and fitness coach, and I help people see results quicker, and they don't have that learning curve that I had. Like, it gets you up and running, like, seriously, in 30 days, learning the habits to for a lifetime of health, a healthy lifestyle, or a healthy life, period. Anyway, so if you ever need help, like, I am here for you. These are just little quick videos that I like to put out there. Um, I love core work, but remember that abs are not only um, what you do in the gym or your home, the workouts you do, they are also a big part as nutrition. So that's a big focus of mine, 80% nutrition, 20% what you do and work out. And I believe our bodies were made to move, like we were made to have muscle. Um, and the less you use them, you lose them. And the biggest problem that puts people into nursing homes later on in life is they can't get up and down on the toilet. So use those muscles, like seriously. And the less you're using them now, if you're my age, like you better watch out because it's gonna come on faster than you realize. What you don't use, you will lose. And that atrophy in those muscles, not a good thing. So anyway, I'll quit talking. I've got a quick core workout for you here. It's, um, I don't know, we've got seven moves and we're gonna do 10 of each. Some will take longer than others because they're combinations. And we'll just see where that takes us. Like how many minutes? I don't know, I'm thinking six minutes maybe. But hey, you can always repeat it if you like. 
And these are unedited, like just, here we go. All right, so you might need a mat for some of them. And I'm gonna, all right guys, you ready? You ready for this? I don't know if I am. I've already done my 35 minute usual workout for today. Let me, um, I'm gonna turn, actually put my mat aside for this because the first one is we're gonna start out in a plank and we're gonna come to a bear and a knee. All right, and then back out, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of each and then move on. All right, here we go, get in position. You could always just come to your knees and tap if, um, if keeping your knees off the ground is too much, okay? You challenge you. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. You always wanna hit that flat plank line each time. We have two more, I don't know. If we're doing extra, sorry. There we go. All right, give your shoulders a little break. Now you will need your mat for this one. All right, this one's called <coughs> Rock the Boat. The, a lot of these are from programs that I have done from master trainers. Like I just love mixing and matching and putting them together, my favorite moves. All right, so this one, you're gonna start in a C-sit and you're gonna rock back and come up. If that's too much, you can rock, put a knee down and up, okay? And you'll alternate, obviously, if you're doing that move. Let me, my shorts are coming. They like scoot up. All right, y'all ready? We're gonna do 10 of these. Here we go. Oh. Two. You wanna really try and straighten your legs as much as you can. That was three, I think. Four. Six, breathe it out. Seven. Eight. Ah, nine, rolling in a little ball. Ten. All right, we're gonna come back to the plank position. Set my mat aside. Whew. All right. Here we go. We're gonna start in a plank and you're gonna come down to a down dog, push back, and then a knee opposite. All right, y'all ready? We'll start here. One. If you can't get your leg quite there, you can just tap. that four? I don't know. Five, I think. <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Done. You can really feel that in those obliques. All right, what do we have next? Okay, you're gonna do, this is like a helicopter. You're gonna lay on your tummy, arms out, legs a little bit apart, and we're just gonna lift the opposite arm and leg. All right, here we go. One, two, a little squeeze on the top, three, Bonus, like don't put them down all the way. 
seven, eight. It's almost like you're holding it for a few seconds each. Get that extra little squeeze. There we go. All right. All right, we're gonna be in a plank and we're gonna tap the shoulders and then we're gonna rock forward. So shoulder, tap, rock forward is one repetition. All right, guys, you ready for this? Let's go. We have got this one and two others. So rock, shoulder, tap, either way. You want to keep that flat plank line, but in line, not sinking or up in the air, right? Three. Hands directly under your shoulders. Hips tuck under. I think that's five. are tough. <sighs> For extra measure. All right, there we go. All right, get your mat, lay on your back. side and reach all right so it's called wag the tail like you're wagging your tail yeah all right we'll do 10 and 10 so 20 total one two three four that way we get both sides you should really feel this in your obliques eight nine Almost there. Woo. All right, we have the last one. This one is super challenging. It's from this program I'm doing right now, and it is so tough for me. Um, so I wanted to like put a little challenge in here at the end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna not quite come back all the way. You pull yourself up and a knee. Now you can also not come, keep one leg down so it's not as hard. The more advanced obviously is keeping your legs up less not bringing your body as high off the ground so all right let's try it because we got 10 of these and they're super hard like four or five and i'm like spent so do the best you can all right here we go two burner. All right, so that was right about, we scoot back over here, that was right about seven minutes or so. Whew. Definitely, if you want to repeat that, like just rewind it back and go for it. And like I said, connect with me on um, Instagram, Facebook, I'm Fit Full Circle. And uh, if you need help, seriously, best thing I've ever done was to join my little group. So anyway, we'll check you later. Peace out and have an awesome, awesome day.